the Yale New Haven experts, the sex abuse cr uh, clinic that the authorities sent the case to, investigated the matter totally for six months and determined that Mia Farrow coached Dylan and that Dylan was uh, having difficulty with uh, distinguishing fantasy and reality. They also concluded it mm -hmm. did not happen, uh, that the molestation did not happen. Uh, that is, uh, should be the end of it. And uh, the fact that it's coming up now, 20 years later, is remarkable uh, because uh, the matter was resolved, the molestation matter was resolved mm -hmm. by the authorities um, 20 years ago. Now, I know obviously it's coming up when he's up for, for awards and a lot of people are talking about the timing, but there are some questions about the study that you mentioned, the Yale sure. New Haven study. So let me ask you about that because they looked back into it in 1993 and as you said, concluded that Dylan had not been sexually abused. But uh, Connecticut Magazine, an investigative reporter, looked into that study late, uh, later and wrote, I want to quote it and get your response, the Yale team used psychologists on Allen's payroll to make mental health conclusions, uh, basically saying that some of the psychologists that had worked on that study that exonerated Allen had also treated him. They did not work on it. They were interviewed, as were Mia Farrow's uh, uh, psychologist and psychiatrist, as was Dylan's psychiatrist. Everybody involved in that family dynamic was interviewed. Woody took a lie detector test and passed the lie detector test. Mia did not take a lie detector test. Hmm. Everything that could be done to disprove those charges was done in an objective way. This was not Woody Allen's uh, uh, group. This was the Connecticut's group. Mm -hmm. The law enforcement people relied on what the Yale New Haven committee was doing. And, and of course, I, I will just note for the record, the New York custody judge said he wasn't convinced that the evidence completely exonerated him. I mean, not everybody supported the results of that study? Well, the, the uh, custody uh, decisions were mm -hmm. based on different factors, uh, which had a, a lot to do with the family dynamic that had nothing to do with the molestation. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's a whole separate issue. Uh, we obviously disagreed with the judge. Uh, we felt that because Mia Farrow had, it was determined, coached Dylan, she was an unfit mother. And that's why we tried to get custody. He disagreed with that. So, so uh, Dr. Jeff Gardier is a clinical psychologist, comes on the show a lot. So I asked him about this, and he, um, I wanted to quote what, what, what he thought was important to talk about. Because this is when I hear people talk about this on the street or in conversation at the Super Bowl. This is what they bring up. And he quotes, behavior like this doesn't happen in a vacuum. It's not inconceivable. A person who would marry the daughter of his girlfriend could also be called into question for possibly violating other family boundaries in that same family, obviously referring to the fact that Woody Allen uh, Mary, you know, had an affair with a 19-year-old daughter of Mia Farrow. People say, gosh, if he could do that, he could do this. Well, that, that, that's absolutely incredible. I mean, there's no connection between marrying a 19-year-old. Mia Farrow married Frank Sinatra when she was 19. Uh, that's not the same thing. No one is accusing Frank Sinatra of being a child molester, and no one is accusing Mia Farrow of being a child molester. Uh, this was a relationship that was sanctioned by law when they were permitted to marry. They married. They have been married for 17 years. They have two teenage children. Uh, the fact that uh, people think that she was his daughter is just not true. She but was he never Andre... formally adopted her. No. She right. was Andre Previn's daughter, period. Mm -hmm. And there's no, there's no denying that. But he you know. was with her mother, right, in a sexual After... relationship. And then, yes. I, mean, so pe that, I mean, you can see where people could get that. I don't see the concern. relationship between that, having mm -hmm. a relationship with uh, a 19-year-old, takes you to the very dramatically serious charge that he molested a 7-year-old. I don't mm -hmm. see the connection. I'm sorry. All right. Well, Elkin, thank and you. And nor did uh, the Yale New Haven group either. Fair point. All right. Well, thank you very much, Elkin. We appreciate your taking the time uh, to join us tonight. Thank you. And still to come, how a man